All right, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech. So today uh, we are going to wait until the Vulcan is ready in two days. Those upgrades you asked for. And our training well, module is also commander. ready. So we have seven million sea bills. Might as well increase our engineering a little bit. Um, is it machine shop? No, it's three tech points. This is the one. Enables third repair bay to work at 100% efficiency. Roger that, Commander. Good to have. We don't actually need it yet. Uh, we are also going to increase the drop size and try to work to increase the drop tonnage as we get more heavies available. Um, so, in, after we're done dropping the Hello, Vulcan Commander. on a solo uh, recovery, we're going to travel up here. Angle is under attack by Steiner. So, in Wartech 2C, this is how you get priority missions, is you go to one of these flashing no nodes that your uh, your faction is involved in, either defending or attacking, and you apparently get priority missions, allegedly. <laughs> we'll find out. Um, and also, so the systems become under attack by random chance, and then if you don't interfere, the winner of the system is determined by a coin flip, basically. And I'm not seeing any movement by the clans. Uh, it was my understanding that with the Wartech 2C map, the clans should start invading. But I'm not really seeing it um, at all. So, yeah, we might have to travel to clan space if we want to fight clanners. But uh, that's not the primary. The primary purpose of this playthrough is to fight to defend, get Davy and ground. And Despite, you know, the online map would have allowed us to fight clanners while doing that, but eh, it's whatever. So we're gonna we're gonna go around defending Davian territory and attacking wherever it pops up for a little while. Then we'll figure out how to, you know, go from there. So, uh we have finished the Vulcan. Which just to refresh your memory. If we hop into it real quick, we have a ton of improved standard jump jets, leg jump jets, uh, both the upper leg and lower leg on one side, as well as two jump jets in the center torso. Um, so what that does is that gives us a jump of 19 hexes. Which gives us 8 evasion as long as we have escapist, and allows us to jump around and brace, and ideally not explode while we go through and do this 4.5 skull recovery. Now, obviously, we don't, we're not going to fight anything, so we just want to go full sea bills here. But we are going to drop in, we'll take everyone out first and drop in the Vulcan with, who was the Toro? With Toro. And there goes everyone. All right, here we go. All right, so it didn't even ask me if I was sure I wanted to drop, but we have a zero star mech initiated. against a four and a half skull recovery. I've never tried this against this high of a difficulty mission, but we are going to drop over here, I think. Let me see. Uh, nine. Actually, no, we'll drop here. We should hopefully be able to jump straight into that capture point on round one. But the name in the game here is Don't Get Hit. We have a medium mech, so not much structure and not the most armor. Yes, Commander. We are out of combat, so we are going to... Hopefully that's in the capture zone. Yep. Alright. So... They have turned 24. Alright, I'm not too worried about an Owens. Uh, that is a Shadowhawk 2C, though. Do we get greedy and go for the secondary facility? 
Or do we just evac? Because we can just straight up evac right now. Yeah, let's not let's not take any chances. Goodbye. Mission successful. So we paid seventeen thousand in drop costs, and we collected a million sea bills. No damage because they didn't even know what hit them, and we get no salvage because we didn't even shoot. Well, that was quite the successful recovery mission. Now let's travel. Um, actually, first, did we already check the store since the financial report ticked over? I feel like we did, but just in case. I'm desperate enough to buy a 350 plus core. Nope. Uh, engine heat sinks plus four. We don't have one. Engine heat sinks plus one. We don't have one. Yeah, we got enough. It just, it gives us options to save slots. Alright. We still have almost 7 million sea bills, so no big deal. So here, our planet, a Federated Sun's planet, is being attacked by Steiner. It takes us 22 days to get Watch there. Commander. And let's arrange our repairs. Like so. Um. Hammer. Um, yeah, hammer's pretty good. Suffered three injuries. Oh, wow. Alright, uh, we paid a hundred thousand dollars, or a hundred thousand sea bills, and company suffers a minus two medical point penalty, but hammer, hammer will survive, albeit he's going to be out for a while. Right? 54 days. Wow. Oh well, at least he didn't die. So, this is actually a good opportunity. So, if we wanted to, we could take this opportunity to look at our medium mechs. And possibly change some things. But then again, I'm I'm happy with how the bushwhacker performs. It it's fine. Uh, the Huron warrior comes in clutch sometimes, and we're traveling to a less hot planet, I believe, so the heat won't be such a big issue. Arctic world, yeah. So the heat's not going to be an issue. Um. So yeah, we're fine. We're fine. The catapult will be ready, so that's interesting. Hey boss, we've just All completed right. those upgrades. So, what else do we want? Um We definitely want the drop size upgrade. Sure thing. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. So, then we'll be able to drop the Catapult, Grasshopper, the uh, Hephaestos, and the Vulture, as well as three medium mechs. Now, ideally, done, I'd be able to get another Blackwell Goss Rifle and move the Wolverine's build into a heavy mech. But I don't really have a good... I mean, the Warhammer has two ballistic hard points. So... But yeah, I, I want to get... Before I take it off the Wolverine, I want a second Goss, uh, Blackwell Goss Rifle. Because the, the accuracy and the evasion ignore is just so good. Um... But yeah, just basically move this build. It wouldn't really, it wouldn't benefit so much from the, uh, from the, what's it called? Breaching shot anymore, firing two Gauss rifles, but it would be able to start one-shotting assault tanks. So that would be ideal. For now though, it does its job. It's an AMS boat that also has, you know, the ability to one-shot tanks, smaller tanks. 
which is good. All right, we've arrived. We've arrived. Um, Commander. first things first. Let's go to the mech bay. I can't remember. Do we have a vehicle we can build? We can build the king crab. We can build an Orion. We can. We can build. Oh yeah, the ballista. That mech you asked for is cleared for fire. We can also build. We can build one of the Ifrits. Um. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely the Bomb Rack Inferno, I think. Air to ground missile, missile rack, snub nose PPC, mag shots. I mean, but it has even less armor. Like, already 500 armor is really light, especially for the types of missions we're dropping on. And then this is an SRM carrier, we're definitely not building that, so we can just scrap one of those straight away. What is this carrier? LRM-20s? Yeah, I, I would go with three LRM-20s on a carrier. Anyway, um, so let's just look real quick. This ballista, it has a Hellstorm artillery, alright? So, times six fire with 30 AoE damage means it can do 180 AoE. That's impressive. Um, and it has... It has the armor-piercing heavy rifle ammo. Really? This thing is going to be able to shred armor. I'm looking forward to that. So, we need somebody... Preferably... Who has, um... Not focus fire, uh... Banded. Because the plus five clustering, I think, I think will apply to how the damp. Whenever you hit a mech with artillery and there's splash, I think clustering. It doesn't determine the area that gets hit as far as like on the ground. That's scatter. But whenever you're doing multiple instances of damage to the mech with artillery, I think the clustering determines if they hit the same area or not. So maybe we put Dragon on it, and put a rookie on the tank that's just there. I hear ya. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Training complete. We're gonna drop Witness into the tank, the the armor to soak damage and not really much else, and we're gonna put Dragon in the Hellstorm artillery tank, and in the command center. If I understand correctly, there should be... There's not. There's no priority mission. How does this work, then? Um... I mean... Oh. By the time we got here, the conflict was over. So, we can go 12 days to a one skull planet. Or to a six and a half skull planet. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's not and say we did. One skull planet. There we go. Four and a half. Three days until the next mission. Twelve days until the fighting starts. Oh, but that's Capellan. That's not even Davian. That's Capellan. Okay, so I guess uh, I guess we just wait for another conflict to pop up with Davian somewhere that's not on a six and a half skull planet. Um, let's check the store for engine cores as we do. Hmm. Meh. I mean, Champion Kentaro, neat. Bulldog, 500 armor. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna... That's a 330 core. Is 330 enough? Nice to see you down here. So... 330. We have... 75, 150... 
225, 300. So yeah. It would still be a four move for a 75 ton mech, and I think... Yeah, it would still be a four move for a 70 ton mech as well, I believe. Yeah, 350 is what we need to get five move on the Warhammer. So no, I'm not gonna buy the 330. Do they have another room 20 so we can finish the catapult build? No. Of course not. Whatever. Let's drop in another Make mission. Sure. Make yourself calm. Uh, something simple, like a three and a half skull defend base. Mostly just to test out the Hellstorm artillery. And the catapult. Even though the catapult's not fully ready, it's basically ready. I mean, the, the big difference is the LRM-15 is just going to turn to an LRM-20 and then it'll be done. But, uh, oh yeah, get rid of the Vulcan. So we have the Catapult, Bushwhacker, uh, Wolverine. And we'll go Apollo as well. We'll, we'll leave the Huron Warrior home, I think. Maybe. But these are our long-range mechs. Um, then... We don't have three slots yet. So... We'll just use the Vulture and the Hephaestos. Uh, Glam in the Hephaestos, right? Yep. And... Pistol in the Vulture. Vehicles. Manticore. Ballista. Nidhogg. Um, we'll put, what was it, Dragon in the Ballista. Um, it was Ping Pong in, yeah, we'll put Ping Pong in the Manticore. And Templar in the Nidhogg. Uh, the Catapult is going to be Grandpa's new ride. The Bushwhacker is... Uh, no, Blaze is her on Warrior. Bushwhacker's Kraken. Clist is in her Wolverine. Uh, and the Apollo... We'll drop... You know what? Blaze can pilot the Apollo. Get her some more experience. Why not? Yeah, I know. Alright, so this should be... Should be be an easy mission. We've got a full skull on the enemies. We're gonna have allies and turrets and buildings for them to shoot at. So the idea is we take little damage and if a couple of our mechs take the brunt of the damage we can easily just sit them out and drop on another mission. Uh, we did leave the grasshopper at home so we don't have the fun of the melee punch or the, the melee cutlass but we should be fine without it. Especially since the way that um, defend base missions go, usually the melee mech is like fighting the vanguard and then useless for the rest of it. Whereas ranged mechs can just rotate pretty easily. Um, so, it looks like the vanguard is down this road. So I'm actually going to drop our longer range mechs, the catapult... Bushwhacker, Wolverine. Is that a... Huh. Whatever. Um, and Apollo on this hill. And then I'm going to drop the shorter range mechs. And the vehicles. Oh no, not the ballista. The ballista I want way, way back here. And the Nidhogg can just go in the middle. So, if I'm correct, enemy, I see one vehicle. Alright everyone, stay frosty. Um, they're really far away. We 
Waiting for orders. Ah, there's another vehicle. I'll give him a chance to move. Good to go. Let's push his hit chance. 50-50, huh? To prevent that thing from getting a shot. And can't get an angle on the other one. But... I also have Warlord. Uh -huh. I probably should have stayed in cover. Ah. And I got indirect, or broke, obstructed line of sight because I'm bad. So yeah. And it also lied to me. Even with, uh... <laughs> yeah, okay, so I... I messed up. I moved to the wrong spot. I had a 50-something percent chance before Warlord when I had direct line of sight, but once I moved to where I moved, I lost direct line of sight and lost 10% hit chance. Receiving Go me! Alright, I'm just... I'm gonna wait for them to move. I'm gonna wait for them to move. That was foolish of me. It's fine. It makes up for the brilliance of that recovery mission. <laughs> Literally printing money. Well, I guess not literally, but you know what I mean. Just easy money. Jump in, jump out, done. And it's using incendiary missiles or no, actually, that that must be mortars because my AMS didn't shoot. Oh God, I was sleeping. What do you want? All right, Grandpa in his fancy new catapult. I'm gonna push off. Let's see how effective it is. And panicked him. Okay. I'm here. And then our. Very, very Copy similar that, Apollo build. Very similar. Uh, I need to go in the mech bay and swap that up, but whatever. Okay. Scar a critical hit. Yeah. That's fine. Be there in the chip. Our Manticore may be able to finish the job. And there is a mech. Cool. Alright. Nope. So what kind of mech is it? A grasshopper. He moved a pretty good distance. What kind of engine core you got there, buddy? What's now up, sadly, Bob? without the Ifrit, there's like no chance of me actually shutting him down. So I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way and just take his legs off. I mean... It's such a waste to use the Vulture to finish off the Light Carrier. But I don't have enough resolve to actually, uh... I hear ya! There we go. That's an idea. Nidhogg, move forward. Nidhogg, hopefully kill Carrier, hopefully giving us the... Then again, do I really want an offensive push on the first round? I don't think so. Got it. <sighs> that would be a myth. I should have fired the missiles indirectly at the other Carrier. Standing by. But I just wanted to test. I wanted to see... Position confirmed. Eh. Eh. Little half hearted shot. That didn't hit. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh huh. Yeah, that thing's dead.
still running a little hot. Huh. Well, the SRMs won't fire and won't generate heat if they miss. So that's interesting. Our, uh, our Hephaestos still runs a little hot, even in an Arctic Oh, wait, that's right. Got hit with incendiary missiles. Standing that's by. why. That explains it. All right, the Ballista is actually just going to stand and shoot. APF SDS. Sure. Sure. So, that's pretty good stability damage for a 0.9% hit chance. Moving to position. And I don't want to really shred his armor too much, so I'm just gonna go. Well, one might be Knock one steady. No. Okay. What can I do for you? List can get into his flank. Will do betcha. so. Actually, I should have seen if I could get to the SRM carrier. Whatever. Oh, there's a, another vehicle right here. With 40 structure in each location. Okay. Um, she already used her... Yeah. Okay. So, leg... Shoot. Miss. It's fine. Get you next time. Although, honestly, I should EWS ping him and see if he's got a big core. Because if he doesn't, I just need to shred him as fast as possible. Receiving you. Wait a second. Who has EWS ping? I know the Wolverine does. I know the Grasshopper did. Do I have EWS on anyone right now? Yeah, sure, why not? On it. And offensive push. To the leg. Actually, this is the rest of my resolve. No, I'm just I'm just going to attack him from the side and hope that it hits leg. Locking in all weapons. No, it doesn't look like it hit leg very much at all. But he's unsteady. Unless it's his turn, in which case, oof. All right, turrets are on. Nope. SRM carrier, which is actually scary, but didn't shoot for some unknown reason. Oh, God, I was sleeping. All what right. do you want? Um. Sure. Oh, I don't like going fast. It's Doing the scary. same thing as the bushwhacker, just shooting side and hoping for legs. I'm gonna press all the buttons and you can't stop me. Something blew up. I broke him like my hip. Definitely was not the leg. Waiting for orders. Yeah. Pretty sure Order he's just gonna die. Oh well, whatever, I tried. Copy that. Not very hard, but I did try. I mean, that's a leg. Critical hit command. 280 core. I don't care. Let's just kill him. Yes, commander. Pistol. Acknowledged. For the kill. Sure. Actually, you know what? Just in case there's something more interesting. Acknowledged. Okay, whatever. Target 
Target eliminated. How's my heat looking on my vulture going alpha? Cool. Waiting for orders. Heat neutral. Can't get the twist on the partisan. So I'm gonna actually reserve. Good to go. Ping Pong is going to roll forward, try to draw fire, and shoot some tandem at him. Oh, right, also... Oh, no, that's right, Ping Pong is not the... Dragon's the one that has field command. Gonna reserve, let him roll forward, hopefully. Holding action, Commander. See if he rolls forward, I should be able to shred him pretty well with, uh, with the Hephaestos. Ow. Minor damage, Commander. Nothing to see here. Waiting on you, Commander. Was the Huron Warrior one of the mechs that had the AMS? Coordinates received. Seems like... Oh, right. I also lost the Ifrit, which had AMS. Caseless, because I don't care if it jams. And fire. Know what to do. Standing by. Um, yeah, you're not... You're not going to do anything. <laughs> My, uh, my units are too close to that thing to uh, launch artillery like that. So as soon as Cliss goes, that SRM carrier should explode. And the other vehicle with the brunt of go. my force hitting it should die very easily. Moving out. And then the Vanguard will be done and we'll be able to proceed with the rest of the mission. Time to die. And he's open. There's more where that came from. What can I do for you? What you can do for me is take a little step right there. Got it. And kill this guy. All right, boys. There you go. Follow me. We're gonna Good go. job. Smoke them. All right. Oh, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Just need You're to remember Grandpa has to stay guy. back pretty far. Sure. A little bit overkill. It's fine. We've got plenty of ammo in the nice Buick you have. Ready for orders. All right, and move back towards the base. Got it. Not sure where the reinforcements are going to drop, but uh, hopefully we're Commander? mobile enough to rotate around and intercept them. Double time. Let's go. I hear ya. Yeah, Going that's why turbo. I didn't care if the Heavy Rack 5 jams. Because I knew that I wasn't going to have any enemies this round. And now it's unjammed. Everyone just kind of milling about, waiting for more enemies to show up. Standing by. No shooting, just running. Got it. Yeah, the only downside to having the Hellstorm artillery, other than it having almost no armor and being very vulnerable if they get a you know angle on him, is uh, once my units get close, like especially if I was using my melee mech, then it limits his targeting options. Waiting for orders. Got it. But yeah. Arctic world, all of our heat management is optimal. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. 
of course, across the map. Yeah, I don't see one in my immediate vicinity. That's a wraith. It moved pretty far. And over there we've got a phoenix and a legend killer. We already know legend killer does not have a large engine core. Well, we can just shred those guys on the way to intercept the other guys. Receiving you. Yeah. Position confirmed. Give me options. What's my hit chance on the Wraith? Okay. Phoenix, a little bit better, but not enough better. So, Roger. hit the Wraith with who I can from where I can. Because the slower moving mechs that are shorter range are gonna have to get there. And while they're getting there, they can destroy the Legend Killer and the uh, Phoenix over Waiting here. Waiting on you, Commander. So the Phoenix, how much structure does it have? Enough. Um, wonder if it has an XL engine. Well, uh -huh. I don't see any vehicles, so I hit arm. Okay, so he's immune to through armor. I hit arm, but it only did the uh, 34 damage of the armor here. Like, so his armor, whatever it is, prevents through armor damage. But yeah, for example, On the move. Full I'm pretty sure we would only be able to shoot our RNG bombast laser in the blaze fire. No, actually, we could shoot pretty good amounts of stuff at the Wraith. Or we can shoot everything at the Phoenix. And possibly flip the Bombast to standard. Yeah. Oh, and we have enhanced imaging. So... On it. Fire. Considerably less than I was expecting. But yeah, we've got... Uh, the Apollo and the Catapult to fire on the Wraith. Then again, our allies are probably going to fire on the Wraith as well, because he's closest to the base. Interesting. Ah, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Or... Oh, I the don't catapult like won't be able to get line of sight. Scary. So we'll just shoot the Phoenix instead. I'm gonna press all the buttons and you can't stop me. There we go. Wow, he fell down like a good to go. And the catapult, as expected, has amazing accuracy. The legend killer hasn't gone yet, and I really want the Hephaestos to shoot the legend killer. What can I do for you? The Nidhogg, on the other hand, is going to move to engage the Wraith. Sprinting! Because, yeah. I also want to see a Merlin and an Anzu. Huh. No kidding. And I'm not in range to shoot those things. I'll take it. Waiting for orders. He lost evasive, so our allies should be able to hit him pretty well. Um, like I said, waiting for the legend killer to go before Glam moves in. And yep, allies going for the wraith, and everything's getting intercepted by AMS. So the Apollo and the catapult are going to focus the flank until we figure out who has the AMS and kill them. Uh, 
So, the Wraith. Quick draw. I'm receiving you. Ten four. All right, Apollo, Legend Killer, and fire. Fire and all weapons. All right. Yeah, I don't know whether it's the Wraith that has good AMS or somebody else, but that is intercepting like every missile. That's a concern. Not that big of a concern, but still a concern. We have AMS too, so yeah. All right. So what do we have left? Our ballista? Anything else? Oh yeah, the Hephaestos. All right. Yeah. What can I do you for? Oh, and our man's core. Would be on my way. Double time. Sure. Why not? I got him. Kind of whatever. All right, Wraith on the ground. And it appears to be the Bushwhacker that has the AMS. Appears to be. Ready for orders. All right, Hellstorm Artillery. Uh, I don't like that I have direct line of sight to them because that means they have direct line of sight to me. There we go. That's where I want to be. Down. And I'm going to focus the quick draw. No, the quick draws. Oh yeah, it is advanced AMS right there. Um, and it has a 300 core, so I don't really care. All right. All right. It's unsteady. C20 ammo. Gone. I hear ya. Glam. Moving forward. Time. Hitting the legend killer. Roger that. Firing on target. All right. And yeah. if I remember correctly, legend killer has an XL engine. So all I need to do is destroy a side torso. Wraith also just has an XL engine. Oh, I should have used that really good sensor roll to look at everyone. I keep forgetting to do that whenever I... It's like, oh yeah, this guy has this. And then it doesn't even occur to me that if I can see that guy, I can see everyone. Alright. Not a good sensor roll. Receiving you. There we go, good sensor roll. So, he has a 240 in the Legend Killer. The Quick Draw has a 300. The Black Knight has a 300, and it's the Quick Cell, one of the Quick Cell Black Knights. The Wraith has a 385. I need to take the leg off that thing. But his center torso is at 42. Oh no. Oh boy. Merlin, 240. Anzu, 240. Oh, seriously? Okay, the the Wraith is the only one that has an engine core as big as I would like. Aye, aye. <sighs> okay. So, no splash. Try for leg, 40%. Nope. Mech destroyed. <sighs> okay. Yes, Commander. It's fine. Everything's fine. We'll just keep playing missions till we get one. And then we'll have some fun building a faster, uh, faster heavy mech. Hi. Alright. Reporting critical hit. 
almost a knockdown. Also almost a side torso. So yeah, the Wolverine's the only thing over there with AMS. Good to go. So I'll bring my Nidhog back over. Got it. Max speed. Mostly just no intercept speed. missiles. And if it happens to do some good damage to the Black Knight, let's say, all the better. Special delivery. Oh, stealth Black Knight. Interesting. AC5 right. magazines are empty. Ah, oh, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Direct line of sight. Oh, I don't like going fast. It's scary. And shoot the Black Knight. I'm gonna press all the buttons and you can't stop me. Alright. Alright. So, try to burn through this as fast as possible. We're not going to have time for another mission after this one, but hmm, I'm really curious if we got super lucky and that 385 core is on the table, even though we destroyed center torso. Or not center torso, we destroyed the side torso and it had an XL engine. What can I do for you? Um, the Wolverine is not able to get in range to sensor ping anyone. Okay. So, all right. Oh boy. Okay. That heavy shredder turret is taking Commander. some serious pounding. Haul and ass. If I flip to range, I should have a really good hit chance on my bombast. Yep. On it. Alright. Alright, Black Knight is tagged. Like I said, the plan is just to sweep through these guys and then come downhill at the rest of them. But yeah, engine cores are definitely the problem. We, we need engine cores before we can build anything heavy or assault. But we're not getting lucky. We're not having any enemies with large engine cores drop, except for the occasional one that we don't know about until it's too late. Uh makes me kind of reluctant to kill anything before I get a good sensor roll and can look at what it all has, what all it has. Okay. Turn 17. Who's taking their time? Ah, quick draw. Alright. Heavy shredder turret hanging in there. What's up, what a champ. What a champ. Um, there. Quick draw. Fire. Really? I guess his AMS is jammed. Cool. But it fired it. Waiting that. on you, Commander. Whatever. I'm not gonna question it. Moving fast! Alright, Hephaestos, finishing off the legend killer. Roger that! Firing on target! Yep. As expected. Did you see that? Did you see it? Standing by. So we've got our Hellstorm artillery. Uh quick draw. Does not look like it's open yet. But it doesn't really matter. 
Now he's open. Reporting. Critical hit. Knocked down. Awesome. So now anyone who gets line of sight should be able to hit him. Except their allies because they're terrible. Again, except their allies because they're terrible. Oh, that one hit. That shredder turret's the champ in this mission. Surviving when it shouldn't, getting kills when nobody else can. It's funny. Alright. Ready for orders. Get some light PPCs in the mix. Let's move. Alright. Dropping all the things. Ah. The Anzu has AMS as well. Good to know. Good to know. But this this shouldn't be like this shouldn't be difficult to close out. So that's interesting actually, because this I think this was a three and a half skull mission. And we saw a 385 core. So we don't have to go for crazy five skull missions or higher. Ah, God, but I was sleeping. What do you want? Then again. Ooh, camera, what you doing? No, oh, I don't like going All right, fast. Firing it's on the scary. quick draw. I'm gonna press all the buttons and you can't stop me. Good job, Grandpa. That's some pretty solid damage. Structure exposed, probably just the arm. Hip. What can I do for ya? And might as well roll on in with the Nidhog. And do more of the same. Alright. That's a critical hit. That's half a mech down. Whoa! Easy on the armor, buddy. Alright. Who else do we have? Uh turn twenty is the Wolverine. Is the AMS not active on the Nidhogg? Or was that just firing outside of his AMS range? Oh, they were active. It just, I guess it was just outside of its range. On my way! Alright. Quick draw. Yeah, just just shoot regular. Regular ammo. Fire. Miss. It's fine. It's whatever. The Wolverine's not hey, here to kill mechs. The, the Wolverine's here. here to kill vehicles. And honestly, it is it is falling behind the curve, so I think the Wolverine's gonna be the first medium mech that I just restrict to low skull missions if I need to take them. Like, I have the option, I like having the option to drop on lower skull missions with a, you know, lower tonnage lance, a lower drop cost lance, in case I need to travel across Davian space to get to one of these uh, conflict zones. But yeah, it's a pity the one here was gone before we got here. Standing by. Alright. I mean, kicking it. Apollo walks up to a black knight. All right. Probably not the best idea, but uh, eh. Orders. It's got it's got some heavy. Um, uh, yeah, it's got some some reinforcement right behind Affirmative. it. Affirmative. And standard is fine Firing now. Full yep, like I said, reinforcements right behind it. Take that. So we've got 
Quicksil on the board. We've got just random standard inner sphere stuff. Yeah. I'm not thrilled about the loot prospects here, but it's fine because we only went for one priority pick. And it absolutely will be that 385 core if it somehow miraculously made it to the end. Alright, so I need to rotate the Nidhogg around to start intercepting those missiles. I hear ya. Um can only get obstructed. Can only get obstructed. And that's fine. Don't need to tell me twice. He's open. Oh, he's open on the arm. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, there's an arm down. Want some more, huh? Right here. Manticore. Consider it done. Firing on the half dead quick draw. Sure. I really should have switched his uh, SRMs back to a mass instead of tandem because he's out of range for like anything. Standing by. And he's still gonna be out of range for just about anything. Oh, the Hellstorm's jammed. Okay. Grace. All right. Waiting on you, Commander. This is going to I read you, Commander. once Moving again out. shoot the quick draw in the weakened side. Tell me what to shoot. Alright, that's a knockdown. Should be an easy kill from here. Receiving you. Uh Bushwhacker is going to move forward to engage aye, the aye. remaining two targets over here. I mean, those hit chances on the Merlin can't be beat. And it has less armor. But I'm a lot more worried about that heavy MRM-30, or heavy MRM-20. So we're gonna do that. Need to shred through that thing before that thing opens up on us. I believe heavy MRMs are 8 damage per missile, I wanna say. So that's 160 damage worth of missiles. Okay, not many hit. I'm showing minor damage. Everything's fine. Ah, oh God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Grandpa's actually running a You're little hot. You're asking a lot of an old guy. Kind of surprises me a little bit. All right. I'm gonna press all the buttons and you can't stop me. Is that a knockdown? Yes, it is. Alright, Black Knight's not getting another turn, and the uh, whatever up there is not getting another turn. Easy peasy. We just have to worry about the Merlin and the Anzu. Definitely the Anzu a lot more than the Merlin. The Merlin's not really that big of a concern. But, I think we actually need to pull our Bushwhacker back away from the Anzu until we get more forces up there to intercept it. Because if it's, if it's just soaking heavy MRM-20 round after round, it's going to eventually explode. So, let's not let that happen. Receiving you. Alright, Enhanced Imaging still has no fail chance. This should be the death of the Black Knight. Oh wow, there's still a lot of... That's still a lot of armor to chew through. Okay. Targeting for an alpha strike. Well, there's an arm down. I think I hit something good. Andy punched out. Okay. Good to go. 
Fine by me. Oh boy, how are we gonna get the Hephaestos into this fight? I would have to pull back to here to shoot that. Okay. Will do. Yep, that's a kill. Alright. What gotcha. we need now. Waiting for orders. So we need Templar to hopefully overheat the Anzu. Then we won't have to pull the bushwhacker back. It has a I radical double heat sink kit. That's not going to last very long. That is not going to last very long at all. All right, that's fine. We'll just uh. I'm here. Do what we can with what we've got. Okay, Apollo moving forward, flipping over to LK ammo and firing indirectly. Unfortunately, the Anzu does have AMS. But it appears to be jammed. Good deal. Commander. And our tank is able to roll okay. forward and hopefully Full soak some fire. Acknowledge. Not really doing much damage, but hopefully drawing fire. Ready for orders. And the Hellstorm artillery is ready to fire once again. Alright, he's unsteady. No more AC20 ammo. And we're down to caseless, so that thing's gonna jam basically every round. Heavy MRM ammo explosion. You'd love to see it. And a knockdown. Yeah, things are looking up. He has an XL engine, and he's got 34 structure Commander? left on a side torso. Actually, I could probably move with that good of a hit chance. I can, I can probably move. I can, I can afford. Oops, to get some evasion. Moving to position. Like that. And here we go. There we go. One Next mech remaining. Destroyed. And then we go orders. home. Last Pedal mech, the then we go home. Sure, whatever. Torso down. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Okay. I mean a Gauss rifle is still a Gauss rifle. You. But yeah, I think I might just start using the Wolverine for uh, ambush convoy missions. Confirmed. Just when I know there's going to be vehicles. Now. Because against mechs, position. definitely leave something to be uh, something to be desired. Scored a critical hit. Ah, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Oh, I don't like right, going slip over fast. To LK. It's scary. And drop. Then again, he's open center torso, so I'm gonna go with the swarm. Running him up, knocking him down, just like Bello Woods. Crit the gyro. Okay. I broke him like my hip. That's fine. Our allies should finish him off, honestly. Oh, 
We still have people left. We still have people left that can get direct line of sight. Okay. Target locked. Yep. As to be expected when going on a three and a half skull Enemy mission. Eliminated. We are definitely beyond three and a half skulls. Mission successful. Okay, easy 2.3 million sea bills. Minimal damage, really. Our our allies soak the majority of the damage. And there's three Black Knight parts. Maybe. Maybe we take that. Um, Advanced AMS, I think we already have one sitting around, yeah. Uh, LRM-15 Deltas, no LRM-20, or I might have actually considered taking it. Um, oh, we need more advanced optics. There we go. We we need more advanced optics for our uh, our new mechs. And yeah, a bunch of quick sell stuff. Maybe we get a double heat sink kit. Maybe we get some more improved heavy jump jets. I don't know. There's there's not a whole lot begging to be picked here. Bolt on AMS goodbye. SRM Six Street quick sell. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant, I meant to. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, fire control improved. I think I'm actually going to keep around because I can drop that on one of the medium mechs and take the advanced optics off of it to to keep night vision, but not have, you know, have the advanced optics on a heavy mech instead of the medium mech. And again, I forgot to look in the engine core section to see if by some stroke of luck we actually had the 385 drop in it. But... Eh, whatever. So... Welcome to the Grease Pit, Commander. I think... We're gonna take some advanced optics off of some medium mechs. Because I think... I think the Hephaestos and the Vulture have it. I... Yeah, the Catapult needs an Advanced Optics Mark III because of its range instead of the Mark I. And I think the... Is it the Bushwhacker that has the Mark III? Yes, the Bushwhacker has the Mark III. But honestly, uh... I think I'm gonna travel again. I think I'm going to wait the four days to see if a bigger engine corresponds here. And if not, I'm going to travel. So, I'm about to travel so the days don't matter. Hey boss, we've just completed those upgrades. Um, engineering. We need more tonnage. I'm, I'm fairly yeah. sure we need more tonnage. Take a bit, but we'll get it done. Um, in any case, yeah, that's that's all gonna be done before the financial report. Everyone's gonna be out of fatigue. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. So maybe maybe we'll actually drop on one more Got mission then travel. Me, yeah, sure, whatever. I, I want to get more heavy mechs online, but I don't have the engine core for it. And... 270. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we're going to travel next, uh, next episode. But... Hey, there's another recovery. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think next episode we'll do the same thing. Uh, recovery, and then defend base, but this time it'll be a five skull defend base, so here's hoping that there's some big engine cores. In any case, that has been your episode of Rogue Tech for the day. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, have a good one.